Lesson 6.3, using similar polygons. What are similar polygons? In similar polygons, all the corresponding angles are congruent. Therefore, the polygon is going to be the same shape. The corresponding sides are not congruent, though, but they are proportional. Therefore, what we're really talking about is two figures that look exactly alike, except one is larger or smaller than the other one. Written symbolically, we would say that this quadrilateral, ABCD, is similar to quadrilateral EFGH, and the little tilde sign works as our symbol for similarity. You know, it's sort of like the congruent sign, only without the equal sign, since our sides are not equal in length. Corresponding angles in this case, just like with congruent statements, you can pick them out from their location in the statement. Since A is first and B is first in the other one, then angle A matches up with angle B and is congruent. And you can pair up the rest of them. The ratios of the corresponding sides means that AB corresponds with EF and so the comparison of the length of AB to the length of EF is going to be the same as the comparison of the length of BC to FG, which will be the same as CD is compared to GH, and that ratio would hold true for DA and HE. So what it means is when you write the ratios of the side of, say, the large triangle to the small triangle, or as we learned earlier, we could flip that over, but it will be consistent between all of the different corresponding sides. In this diagram, what we're asked to do is first list all the pair of corresponding angles. Well, we could look at the diagram itself to figure this out, or we can look at our congruent statement, but we see that R corresponds to X, therefore it's congruent, S to Y, and T to Z. It wants us to check the ratios of the corresponding length, so I'm going to pick the 20, the smallest side of RTS, and compare it with the smallest side of XYZ, so 20 to 12 becomes 5 to 3. Then I will take the 30 to 18, and it's also 5 to 3, and the last corresponding sides are 25 to 15, and it's also 5 to 3. Therefore, we can see that they all have the same ratio, therefore they must be proportional. So we can write the ratios of the corresponding side lengths in a statement of proportionality by simply stating that the lengths of all of these will end up being equal to each other. Given that triangle JKL is similar to PQR, it wants me to list the congruent angles and write the ratios of the corresponding side lengths in a statement of proportionality. Notice it doesn't give me a drawing. I'm going to have to go from the statement of similarity. So you should try this and then see if you get it right. My answer is that J corresponds to P, K to Q, and L to R, so those angles are congruent, and then JK corresponds to PQ, so JK is to PQ, as KL is to QR, as LJ is to RP. Scale factor. Now, what we're talking about here is we're taking a figure, whether it's a triangle or a quadrilateral or anything else, and having something that looks just like it, only a different size. What we multiply in order to get that new size is considered to be the scale factor. If two polygons are similar, then the ratio of the length of the two corresponding sides is what we call that scale factor. So in example one, the scale factor was 5 to 3 because that was the ratio of all the corresponding sides. So we look at this and it wants to know what our scale factor is. Uh, first determine if it's similar, and we determine if it's similar by seeing if the angles are all congruent, and they are marked to be congruent. So we can see that. And then we need to check all our sides and see if they're proportional. So when I start doing my corresponding sides, I get that all four of them actually turn out to be 
four fifths when I reduce it. So therefore we do know that they're similar. So we can say that FGHJ is similar to ZYXW and that the scale factor is four fifths. In this diagram I've got two triangles that are similar and want we want to find X, so what I need to do is set up a proportion, find my scale factor. Their corresponding lengths are proportional, so MN is to DE as NP is to EF. I write that proportion and solve it and I end up finding what X is. In this diagram, they want you to find the scale factor here. Well, you just have to find a pair of sides that are corresponding and set up the ratio. And notice that it comes out to be 1 to 2 when we put the smaller triangle first. If I do QR here, excuse me, let me get my pen. If I do QR, that is 6, compared to AB is 12. And that's how we get the one half by reducing it. Finding the value of x, then I can use that scale factor of one half, or I could just pick two sides. But the one goes with the smaller triangle, so four over x. And so when I find my cross product, I see that x is eight. We have a theorem here that says that the perimeters, or the theorem deals with the perimeters of similar polygons. If two polygons are similar, then the ratio of their perimeters is equal to the ratios of their corresponding sides. Now, what this is saying is that it's taking that property that we had a step further, where I said that if two line segments had, were cut into parts that were proportional, then the entire line segment would be equal to that same proportion or that same ratio. Well, this is saying that the linear measure around this will be in the same ratio as the corresponding sides. So let's look at this. A town's building a new swimming pool. An Olympic pool is rectangular with length of 50 meters and 25 meters. The new pool is going to be similar, but only 40 meters long. Find the scale factor of the new pool to the Olympic pool. So what we know is we've got one big pool that is 50 by 25. We have one that is a little smaller. It is only 40 feet long. We don't know the width yet. We may find that out in a minute. But we want the scale factor. So I've picked my corresponding sides. And so the 40 over 50 reduces to 4 to 5. So I have a scale factor of 4 to 5. The next thing it wants to know is find the perimeter of the Olympic pool and the new pool. Well, the perimeter of the Olympic pool, we have all the information we need. We simply have to add up all the sides. We can see that it is 150. And so now we can use that theorem we just said that the perimeters have to be in the same ratio as the sides. Therefore, my perimeter of the small pool compared to the perimeter of the big pool, 150, will be equal to the 4 over 5. And I can do my cross product and see that it will be 120 feet around the small pool. In this diagram, they want you to find the scale factor. This time, they're asking for the big to the little. So I find my matching things, and I set it up and reduce it. So it comes out to be 3 over 2, no matter, well, it looks like we're going to have to use A, B, and F, G. So that would be 15 over 10, which gives me 3 over 2. Find the value of X. Well, if I know my scale factor is 3 over 2, then I can get the value of X by setting up its corresponding part. I can say 3 over 2 is the same as 18 over x, and when I solve that problem, I get an answer of 12. What about the perimeter of ABCD? Well, first thing I need to do is find the perimeter of FGHJK, so I can then use my scale factor of 3 over 2, and the perimeter 
over here comes out to be 69 and we're looking for the perimeter of the small one and when we work that out we'll see that it is 46. The corresponding lengths of similar polygons. What we're really saying when we say that perimeter is true, we're saying that if we have the ratio of two corresponding lengths in the polygon is equal to the scale factor no matter what those lengths are. It could be the perimeter, it could be the altitude of a triangle or the median of a triangle. Remember what those are. The altitude of a triangle is a line segment that goes to a vertex to the opposite side so that it is perpendicular. It actually gives us the distance from the vertex to the opposite side because remember we always measure distance on a perpendicular line. And the median goes from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So let's look at this. What we have is we have two similar triangles and we're wanting to know, we're given the altitude of one of them and we're wanting to know the altitude of the other. So all we really have to do is find my scale factor. TR corresponds with XZ according to our statement up there. So we will get those measurements and then find our scale factor by reducing it then we can set us up a proportion using the scale factor to go match up with the altitudes, plug in the altitude that we know, and solve the equation. We end up with PS is 15. In this diagram, we are given that two triangles are similar, and this time we're looking for the median. And once again, this is for you to try before I work it out. But what we end up doing is getting a scale factor that ends up being the, this side is 40 plus 40, that would be GE, so that is 80, and this side is 48 plus 48, so that is 96, and then we know that the scale, that the other has to fit this, whether we reduce it or not really doesn't matter. We'll have 35 over x, solve that for 42.